Taylor Swift decoding her new album. Hey, hey friends, what's up? Hope your week is off to a great start and thanks for clicking back into Clever News. If you haven't heard, Taylor Swift's new album is officially out and aside from being absolutely amazing, the 22-year-old once again used her hidden messages tactic inside the Red Album booklet. Now we used our detective skills to spell out these messages and to code the album insert. To let you know how it works though, Swift capitalizes certain letters within the lyrics to spell out these cryptic phases. In the first song, State of Grace, the message reads, quote, love doesn't count after goodbye. Now, because of the lyrics that read, quote, twin fire signs and twin blue eyes, we're thinking this song is about Jake Gyllenhaal. Why? Well, because both are Sagittarius's, aka fire signs, and well, Jake definitely has blue eyes. Moving on, the song Red spells out SAG, which could also be about Jake, again the whole Sagittarius sign thing, or even Screen Actors Guild, which Jake is a member of. In the song Treacherous, the passage is quote, won't stop till it's over. The verdict is still out on this one, but many are speculating it's about her current boyfriend, good old Connor Kennedy. In our current favorite upbeat tune, I Knew You Were Trouble, Taylor spells out, quote, when you saw me dancing. Now, some people think this is about her rumored one date with Harry Styles, but we think it's about John Mayer, who is actually currently dating one of Swift's friends, of course, Katy Perry. My personal favorite song off the album is All Too Well, which can be decoded to quote, maple lattes. Many heard about Jake and Taylor's Thanksgiving time maple latte obsession, so we're thinking this song is again about Mr. Gyllenhaal. The song 22 pays homage to her friendship with her good gal pals. The code reads, quote, Ashley, Diana, Claire, Selena. We think you can do the math with that one. In the tune I Almost Do, Taylor's secret passage reads, quote, wrote this song instead of calling. We're not too sure who this one is about. Moving on to the album's first single, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, she cleverly spells out, quote, when I stopped caring what you thought. Many say this is again about Jake. We think it could also be about her rumored romance with Parachute's frontman, Will Anderson. To quickly run down the rest of the tracks on Stay Stay Stay, the message reads, Daydreamin' About Real Love. Another tune for Connor, perhaps. The song The Last Time includes the message, LA on your break. The hidden phrase in Holy Ground is, when you came to the show in SD. Sad Beautiful Tragic's message spells out, while you were on a train, we think this is about Mayer because, well, he toured with Train in 2010 and the lyrics include a reference about touring musicians. The Lucky One, which is also number 13 on the album, spells out, wouldn't you like to know? We think this is about her landing the role of Joni Mitchell in the upcoming biopic. And the last three tracks all seem to be, once again, about her romance with Connor Kennedy. Everything has changed, decodes to Hyannis Port, Starlight spells out Ethel, as in Ethel Kennedy, and Begin Again contains the message, I wear heels now. Now, I want to hear what you guys think, which tracks are about which ex-boyfriends and which are about Connor Kennedy. Leave me your thoughts below and then make sure you thumbs up this video and of course hit that subscribe button. In Hollywood, I'm your host Katie Krause. Have a fabulous rest of your day and thanks for tuning in. Hello, what's up? Pretty please hit the subscribe button and if you want to watch another clever video, well guess what, there's two boxes right next to me. Yep right here. So click them, like them, favorite them, do the whole thing. Please.